Hi, in this video today, I will, I will show you how to create GitLab account and then we are going to create a new project on the GitLab. The last step, we are going to clone the source code from the GitLab into the Windows PC using Sochi. Okay, so now, let's get started. I will open the browser and you type in the URL about .gitlab.com website. And this is the main homepage of the GitLab. And here on the menu, we have a sign in or register. This one, if this one is the first time you are accessed into the GitLab website, you click on the register. Okay. So every time we get you to the register page, on this page you have to provide your uh, information the full name, username, email, address, and the password. Okay. So here I will create my full name. Email address. I copy the email and confirm it again. And the password. And next step, you have to check. I accept the term and service. I would like receive update. This one you can ignore, but here I check it. And you have to complete the Google Captcha. Yeah. So here, click on register button. Yes. And the registration is done. I need to open my email at address uh, email box so here to active my GitLab account confirm the account yes and here after you create the GitLab account successfully this is a free free option. So here you can upgrade the it to go on account with the offer a free of 30 day trial with no no fee. Okay, cool. So now here I will open the project. Yeah. And I cl click on the project. So now I don't have any project here. It is empty. I will click on create a project. Yeah, so I will enter my project E, my Genviate project. Okay, this is the URL of the, 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 the repository. You can enter the description for this project. Yeah, and the vis visibility level, we have two options. The first one is private, that means no one can accept. Uh, uh, until you grant the permission for the user, we have another option in public. So anyone with, with the URL here able to access the source code. So now I will select the private option. Yeah. Next step, I will check it into the initialized repository with a readme file. Okay. So here, if you want to create, create it from a template, you select this tab, or even import the project from another repository or UIL. Okay, so here I will create a blank project. I will click on create project button here to perform the action. Okay, don't show it again. Yeah, so here I have a project has been created. So now I going to edit the content here. Edit button. Okay. Hello. This Okay, and after that you scroll 
style and click on commit change cool so now here back to the repository you see the readme.md file has been just updated it the late update is done now okay cool so here back to the chain, my chain vs project here you click on clone button here it have two options you can clone the shortcode from this repository by using the add 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 key or you can you another option is clone it with https okay so now here i will clone this with https option by using the sochi so now here i need to download the sochi from the internet sochi yeah you click on the first link here sochi website it will navigate you to the sochi app.com website you click on download for window it also available for mac or os x download check it to i agree the alaskan software license agreement and privacy policy after that you click on download button here to get a file from the internet to the pc it will take some seconds to get a file from the internet of course it will be depending on the network yeah okay click on this file to install the software on the pc yeah such a yeah okay so because on this pc i already installed the sochi before so um uh, so it did not display some step for me to install it uh, to install the sochi on this pc so if this one is the first time you install the sochi on the pc you have to follow step by step to install the this uh, to install this software uh, on this pc okay so now here i assuming you already uh, installed the sochi on the pc successfully so now here i will back to the browser close this website and i will copy the link of the https okay i back to the sochi i will click on clone button here i paste the path here okay it is checking yeah so now i have to provide the account of the gitlab gnvs248 and the password and after that click on ok button here to perform yeah so here after you install the credential is correct so it will display a message is this is a git repository okay that means you are you are able to clone this shortcode from this repository to the pc okay i you can also able to change the name here for the project the name i will keep it by default so by default it will it will get the name of the repository here for this project you can also click on advanced option if the if, if this repository have uh, uh, some the brand you can select the brand you want to be get in uh, you want to be take out and get the code here i will select the matter one okay click on clone button it will need some i will need to have some time to get a file from the internet to this pc okay because here in this repository i i have not mark of the file or data so it will take very sorry to get all of the file from the internet to my pc okay here you can see take a look into the history i have a project this is, i have this repository it, it contains the update it contains the readme.md file here and i have to update some of the information into the readme file and here you can see the content update 
very good so now here if I open this okay let me let me open this one file status open it in a browser yeah so here if I go in to add some file into repo repository so what happened okay let me try to add the new text file my text 01 enter so hello good I copy it okay so now I back, I back to your sochi yeah so it will display the unstead the file this is new file and on the right hand we have a plus button here if you click on this one it will automatically state the, the file and edit it into the repository okay so here the next step I have to enter the command I have option here to change the email address here it who okay save it up okay so now here I will enter the command hmm for check in on my local PC okay so here I will select this option put the chain immediately to origin or matter brand okay commit good yeah so here you can see the history I open the browser and open the project overview You can see here we have a uh, my text zero and text one and zero two have been taken in on the repository, and this is the message. Click on this one to view detail. Yeah, very good. One more time, I will open this file. I will try to edit the content of the my text zero one zero. Hello, this is my paragraph. Back to Sachi, and I will here. Yeah. I will right click on this one and add. Yeah. After that, I will do the commit updated my take zero one dot take five okay so now here I click on commit okay open browser and refresh this one the repository yeah the new file has been committed updated okay 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 open this one to see cool okay I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to create a new account on the GitLab system and after that you also know how to create a new project or a new repository on the GitLab to store the short code or file okay and the last step, you also know how to install the Sochi on your Windows PC and clone the code from the uh, GitLab into your PC by using the Sochi. And after that, you also know how to do some modification of the file content or add new or remove the file out of the repository. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. 
and let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. See you later.